thing, the Bengals are going to be putting in some work off the field, laying the foundation that could change lives. Well, the team is actually partnering with Habitat for Humanity to build homes for some needy families in East Price Hill. Tamika Artis now explains how the plan is working to break the cycle of poverty. Uh, good morning, guys. That's right. They will be helping with the seventh of nine homes being built in East Price Hill today. That partnership includes the Bengals and the Hillman Group as well. They'll be doing much of the financing. Starting at 830 this morning, volunteers will begin constructing one of three homes being built along McPherson Avenue. Here's a look at what that house looks like right now. Now, throughout the day, current and former players will also be showing up to lend a helping hand. That project is part, in fact, of a community revitalization effort to get like-minded families into the neighborhood, says Trish. Sunders with Habitat for Humanity. She says in that way, this is a hand up and not a handout. We want to make sure that um, these neighborhoods are um, more crime free. So we're actually creating a way for people to afford housing um, and doing it in a way that they can be in a home versus some sort of an apartment or a Section 8 housing. Um, we're also trying to create some sort of a, a way to, to tackle childhood poverty. All right, so our very own Jacqueline D'Agostino and the Bang Gals, along with former team members uh, Doug Pelfrey and Robert Jackson and Jim Breach, they will all be there today. The families haven't been selected just yet, but you can imagine their reaction once they learn that their new home has been built by their favorite team. It'll be just the cherry on top. Catherine? You know it, Tamika. <laughs> thank you. you know,